So I have come all the way to Southeast Europe to see a very special new piece of machinery. We are in Serbia. We are back here with FPM machinery. Now you may have seen some other videos where we have tried a lot of the agricultural equipment, but today is something a little bit different that I'm very excited to see. Let's go and see if we can find it. And here it is. It is a robotic tractor with three-point linkage on the back. Oh yes, it's a pretty cool little machine. So we're currently in the vineyard, as you can see. And it's going up and down through the middle of the rows, flailing. And now it'll turn the flail back on. And off it goes. So in a world where innovation drives efficiency, manufacturers are looking to transform the future of modern agriculture. And this is Agar, the Agricultural Autonomous Robot, a 100% electric multi-purpose robotic platform built to work smarter for longer. This is not about the size of the machine, but for how long it can operate. And it's certainly not a one-trick pony. Agar features a standard three-point linkage, enabling full capability with conventional tractor implements and a wide range of custom payloads. Thanks to its variable ground clearance ranging from 220 millimeters to 810 millimeters, and the ability to adjust its platform angle in both lateral and longitudinal directions, Agar maintains perfect stability, even across uneven, sloped, and rugged terrain. Equipped with ROS-based autonomous navigation, Agar drives precisely along predefined paths and GPS RTK coordinates, ensuring consistent accuracy in every movement. An RGB light signaling system communicates the vehicle's current status and diagnostics, providing clear visual feedback to the operators in real time. Control is effortless with an Android app or radio remote offering up to four kilometers of range and the full 4G LTE and Wi-Fi connectivity, you're always in command from anywhere in the field. Being that Agar is a robotic machine and can operate autonomously, it can also be driven using a remote control. This flexibility ensures complete control, whether the mission is automated or manual. When it comes to safety, Agar sets the standard with a comprehensive system of LiDAR, radar, stereo cameras, ultrasonic sensors, emergency stop buttons, and a physical stop bumper. The robot consistently monitors its surroundings, protecting itself, the operator, and the environment. Powered by a replaceable 230 amp hour battery, Agar delivers up to 12 hours of continuous autonomy. And even then, a quick battery swap system keeps operations running without interruption up to 24 hours a day. Driven by a high torque electric drivetrain, producing up to 1900 Newton meters and climbing slopes up to 40 degrees. Agar is engineered for real world challenges and it seems durable, powerful, and has certainly performed here today. So one really noticeable thing is how quiet it is. Even though you can hear the machine working on the back, making its noises, especially when it hits a stone, but some battery machines have got a whine or a whistle to them. But they've got something right there, which has made it super quiet. Right, so now I believe they're gonna take off the flail and they're going to put on the rotivator. So this is only a prototype at the moment, but there's a few things to iron out, but by the looks of things, it's um, rather easy to work on the old remote control. As you see, it's got fairly standard three-point linkage on the back. And you've got PTO shaft here going back to an electronic PTO in underneath there. And then it works on linear actuators on all four corners for the lift, so that it can operate in different angles and motions depending on what it's got behind. Right, so now with the rotivator on, it's going to go up through the same line as it did when it was flailing and give us a little um, session on the rotivators. There we go, we'll start up. And now it's rotivating. Look at that. Some may look at Agar's 700 kilogram lift capacity and 1.2 meter running width and think it's too small to make a real impact. But that's where traditional thinking ends because Agar doesn't need brakes. It can operate autonomously up to 24 hours a day. That means one operator can now manage a fleet of robots, 
instead of driving a single tractor themselves. Suddenly, productivity multiplies, labour demand drops. So the question is, is this the future of modern agriculture? So as I probably said already, this is actually only a prototype machine. So it's got some little niggles, some little things they need to sort out, which with any prototype machine, that's the whole idea. So this is sort of their first test machine they've got at the moment. To be fair, it's doing a pretty good job. Don't get me wrong, there are some things they need to iron out. But yeah, let us know in the comment other attachments that you think could go on this. And do you think it is the future of tractors? Obviously, this has been used in a vineyard, but there are so many different applications where this could be used. So as it goes across rough ground, if it loses traction on one wheel, they'll actually push the actuator down on that side to be able to then gain traction again. So it's quite clever. I just say it needs speeding up a little bit. And there we go. From that, an IMT to that. Which would you have? So the lift mechanism isn't actually on the linkage. There's no rams on the linkage. That's controlled by these four linear actuators, one on each wheel. So now you can see how high that can lift onto there. And obviously, without the flail on the back, they can go down even lower as well. So now just going down on the front actuators, allowing the implement on the back to lift up, nearly down on the front, and it's right up on the rear. And then they can higher and lower the implement while using the back actuators and leveling out the front ones at the same time. And there's actually suspension in here as well to be able to allow it for a little bit more of a softer ride to an hour for the humps and bumps as it goes along rather than it just being a rigid machine. So now they're working on steep ground. As you can see now, they're pumping up this side of the actuators to allow to compensate a bit like a hillsider combine. Right, so I believe now it is going to try the hill climb. And we are off. So it's 22 degree measure. 22 degrees? Yeah. Fantastic. Not, not, not uh, degrees, not percent. Percent. <laughs> 22 degrees. 22 degrees, so 44%. It's 40%. Now, hills are always hard to gauge on camera, which is reasonably steep for a few to compare it to doing it with a compact tractor. Let me put my phone exactly level. There we go, that's level. Look at that. She is performing and there's no driver getting an itchy bottom in the seat. And there it goes, off into the row, down the slope. Putting my camera level again. What a bit of technology that is, eh? So there we have the Agar X4, which has been distributed by FPM. Let us know what you think in the comments. Is it the future of compact machinery? Is it the perfect thing for the job? And let us know what implements you think we can put on the back. Anyway, we'll see you next time from this beautiful vineyard here in Serbia, Southeast Europe. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.